and in one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine, I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I am good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. So, where are we anyways? Definitely not sacrosanct. Good. Care to be a little more descriptive? We'll know more once we get outside, assuming Peter gets his butt into gear. Just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. I know you're ready. I'm Groot. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin' Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, uh, the stuff is gross! Uh, uh, are you kidding me? Uh, wet fur is the worst! Fuck it. You all right? That's it. I hate water. I hate being wet, and I hate not getting paid. We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys. This is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nut jobs. Great. They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister and uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh don't fall, you won't get wet. Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? You will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. We're not shooting Drax. But you were willing to shoot Rocket? Yeah, what does Scott Quill? Drax is the one in need right now, and I'm gonna... 
Found Drax. Lying scoundrel. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! To mend what I have lost! Rock in a little help here? Uh. <laughs> Mantis? How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. Or is it Omfad who teaches me later? Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> oh, fine what are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is... Or was... Or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotadi take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Kotadi? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kochati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Watch out! Double floor! How is it sense that one in time? Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. 
Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always evil. This place is really unstable. Lousy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh, no, not all of us. Not this time. <laughs> More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panic final gasps. Okay, let's not tell Little Fuzzy that. I heard. <laughs> nice! Whatever you found in there, Quill, pretty sure it ain't worth getting drenched for. get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. <laughs> Poor little fuzzy. Stir Fry, that's a good one. You've been smiling a lot more, Gamora. See, I told you being in a group would help. I mean, seeing what? I yeah! Giddy up! Crap, that was kind of close. That one sometimes gets Gamora. I doubt it. You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Mantis, any chance Drax can... Green Meanie cannot be burdened. It takes all my mental fortitude to keep him enmeshed in lies. One misstep, and I lose him. And then he kills us all. Again. I spotted a little mousy hole here. Groot, maybe if we all push together... I am Groot. He says... He says it would need Green Meanie's help, but Green Meanie can't help. Until you help him. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. Want to talk about it, little fuzzy? Talk about what? All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! no! I don't trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? I got this. Rocket, just stay to the side and try not to die. Yo, geniuses. This thing above me don't look this sturdy. Knock it loose and we got our bridge. Try your blasters, Peter. Still ignoring the bigger problem of not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh, Think of all the times Drax has done something for us. Whoa! I did not see that coming. Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by the tiger with the squid face? Oh, Stumpy. And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis, should we be worried about this fog? Stumpy? This Normal Drax around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. 
Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team. When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the fucking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. I am Groot. Why were you here again, Gamora? Oh, I know the answer! It's the same across all- What the floor? Oh. There's two of them! Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the fucking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. Why were you here again, Gamora? Oh, I know the answer! It's the same across all timelines. I told you, I was here to recuperate. I, I was in a bad place. We had to keep an eye on her. An eye, watching. What the floor? Oh. There's two of them. Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive on it. But I'm thinking... Talk about what? What do you think, Quill? New best friends? Yeah, we are. Would probably admire these walking tanks. Ha! He said tanks do not walk. Ooh. I'm with you, bud. Let's squash this guy. Communicate with these ones. Careful. Sure are a lot of things living in this sacred cave. Guys, huddle up. blowing them up. And I gotta admit, every time they go splat, it paints an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. We are painting the battlefield right now, Rocket, in so many shades. But if we're too excited, this love fest, this dazzling euphoria, it'll all disappear. Who's with me? Can't wait to take him down! Let's... Time to shred up! Maybe they're just the really ball. excited to see us! Oh, sure! They just want to give you a big hug! Oh, I remember this part. Something bad happens here, something we have to avoid. Mantis? Over here. All right. I like Drax as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cake. I am Groot. Who? Bug Lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom. Are you the rock face we're looking for? We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. No, wait, you should know that already. Don't you remember your dreams? Found another way. 
Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. I'm Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Greenmeanie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little Fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was gonna do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy, like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Do we even have a chance of stopping them? Oh, yes! But only if you cure Draxy Waxy here. The five of you are the only ones who ever do anything. Finally, the face of a thousand lies! I think... Is it gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> of course I'm angry. I'm wet. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Flarkin, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. And get out of here! Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax. So we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, no, no. Do... I'm done with all the riddles. Don't not, not do whatever you're just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. <laughs> Can you tell him to stop? <laughs> Little Fuzzy's in a mood. We're probably gonna die. <laughs> Be not safe. Rocket, don't! Rocket! Feels like I say this a lot, but... You wanna know the plan? Yep. Think you run! One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. We're trying to help you! It's okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't.
stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! Ugh. What? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Sure I! Are you Spartoy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How'd a gun do that? Show him! Star Guy! And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding... This isn't <laughs> I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! <laughs> With our luck, Hellbender's goons are on the other side, just waiting to jump us! Payback from Hellbender is literally the last thing we need right now! Ha! Called it! Can you save your I told you so's for when we're not being shot at? Don't these guys know how to let bygones be bygones? Hey! At least they didn't bring an army of them jelly things with them! Can you imagine? Man, I hated those things! You were saying? Just had to jinx us, didn't you? Hey! Anyone notice that this happens to be the monster I said? I suppose you want credit for that, too? What the hell? The whole army to get nice them off, Peter! Look it! Safety's off! It's gooey outside! Keeps redecorating! Remind me we 
old lady skull suit one. Let's not make things worse. Could this get any worse? Sure. We could be dealing with those churchified noble weirdos too. Ah, uh, that would be worse. Oh, come on! Mantis says the cure for the promise is here. <laughs> Makes sense for the church to not want anyone to find it. <laughs> What's next, Peter? Chop him up! I'm on it! Definitely going the right way! Right? Hit him down, Groot! I can't believe so many of them fell for the promise! It's only one of our own, remember? <laughs> This is what you get for making us come to this flirting game! Save some anger for the Ranger! Hi, Yavin! All of us! If anything else comes out of this fog, I quit! You can't quit! It's in your contract! Need some breathing room, Groot! Or I cut him down! Knife to meet you! This flirting fog is probably gonna hit me high! If we're lucky! Man, what else can this place possibly throw at us? I would rather not find out. For once, I agree with Rocket. <laughs> Took out another Nova Core weirdo. The whole world mind has a solid life piece of breathing room, Groot. There's your chance, Gamora. Time. We're almost through. I can feel it. Fix that cuckoo Nova Corman's claw! Way to knock some sense into him! This is what you get for making us come to this flarking cave! Save some anger for Raker! Nobody beats the Guardians! At least not this time! At least we know we're on the right track! Do we? If anything else comes out of this fog, I quit! That goes double for me! I'm ready! Just find me an opening! I can't believe so many of them fell for the promise! So did one of our own, remember? Not this one! It'll be a slice! Fog of fear. Faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora. You look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. It's just... Just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! Heads up! More of them rock monsters. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. I don't think they're looking to make a man's quilt. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. <laughs> everything in this cave want to kill us! Smaller, greener version of you guys? You all 
Show me one, Joe! I'm going into the light this time, little buddy! Let's do this! This has got my name on it! Wow! Fog of fear, faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, I don't think that any of those were real. Not really real, anyway. Their attacks felt real enough. Maybe they were real. There's something down here that's affecting my vision. Don't think it was ever that clear to begin with. <sighs> Just how far down does this cave go? Heads up. More than rock monsters. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. Look out! about as well as expected I was sure oh maybe I just haven't learned it yet I think I picked up the word for kill or the grunt anyway the fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it unlike some people I am Groot. I know why we're doing it, and don't think Drax won't hear all about it either. Oh, is this the one where little 
Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. Um, guys... I know, little Fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving Drax? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? I don't know. But those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Dam what? No, it's... Never mind. Yes! It's just a plant plant, not a you plant. And we ain't got much choice. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket, don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. guys do without me? Yeah, where oh where will we get another gun? Gamora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Fear the almighty Star-Lord. You say something? Dot nope. Oh, you know he has some Patapian fairy tale related to our current situation. Who's I? Who's I? I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Figure something else out. Just like that! Give him an even bigger head than he's already got. Mantis, any of those realities where we just leave Rocket here, hypothetically speaking? Oh, yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me? Hypothetically speaking! Oh, little Fuzzy. Sometimes you die trying to get out. It must still be stuck somewhere. Yes! I can't believe that worked. Half worked. Come on, it's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. All right, I'm on it. What's a big-ass plant doing all the way down here? The priests call it Boros, giver of light and life. In our case, I'd settle for some shelter. Ah. <sighs> It's actually kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either, and I ain't gonna start now. Are you moved? No. 
It ain't none of their business. I am Groot. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> Not funny! Why don't we just leave him behind? Focus on saving Drax. He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't, eh. Groot would never go for that. What are you guys talking about? Nothing, buddy. You're a valued member of the team. Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up, and I'll swipe him in your sleep. You could try to ask it to move, but I don't think this is one of them smart plants. <laughs> See? I told you. Still holding on. One more time, Groot. I am Groot. Up we go. I am Groot. Heave it, Groot. I am Groot. That's great right there. I am Groot. Star Lord. Gonna need a hand up again. This looks good. All right. Easy, Greenie. They'll figure it out. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part the Seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure he had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. Crab corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. Oh, what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. Guys. Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up. I am You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... 
The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water, and it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Clark, I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic? I am Groot. Pretty? Eh, give me a break. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. I am Groot. We can double back along Groot's path and then try to find the exit. I am Groot says stay close to him. At least you'll be able to see. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Now it gets loopy? Oh, uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to? I don't. More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flartnards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. These ears don't lie, lady. Rocket's right. I don't know how it's possible, but I'll never forget that squidgy sound. It's the sound of wet eyeballs hitting the ground. What It doesn't make any sense. You being wrong makes tons of sense to me. Guys, huddle up! What a blast! I haven't felt this excited since the Galactic War! Better watch her out there, Quill. She fought on both sides, remember? Whereas me, I don't need to take sides to mow anybody down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! Okay, okay, I get it. Those creeps out there, fighting them gets the blood pumping. Oh, yeah. But if you listen to that pumping too hard, your heart takes a dive and the losing starts. Stay on target and we'll make them all go boom. Who's with me? Nice one, Peter! Feel it! Black! Right in the eye! Any last words? It's like this place has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Anyone else getting deja vu? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacore. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. All I hear is noise. Moore's right. I hear voices, just like when I put on that helmet in the Nova base. You're both crazy. No flarkin' way! I heard jellies! It doesn't matter who's right. We can't trust what we hear. This is how it's done! <laughs> We ruled out hallucination! I don't think we've ruled anything out yet! <laughs> Let loose, Rocket! This is like a bad dream! This getting any clearer to you, Mantis? All I see is fog. Hear noises, feel fighting. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. At least there's a way out now, I guess. Can we go back? I'm not even sure where back would lead. Okay, now that's them bouncing eyeballs from the QC. No question. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Sorry. Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. I am Groot. 
Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. I'm with Groot. And Shatari. Never forget those things as long as I live. This ain't no time to float. It's like a Mora set. Something's messing with us. These lizard freaks need to go. Stop them short, Groot! There's something we're missing! What choice do we have? Cut to the chase! <laughs> Rocket! Go wild! No pun intended! How deep can this go? It's endless. Or circular? The fog calls and we answer. Right. It can't be real. Sure felt real when we were fighting them. I definitely hear more of Hellbender's goons. This better be the last time I see this Larkin cave! Maybe this time? Right. It can't be real. Sure felt real when we were fighting them. Doesn't make any sense, but I can hear those squishy eyeball things from the quarantine zone. Me too, buddy. We gotta try something different next time. Rocket! Fireworks! This is like a maze with no exit! Definitely starting to feel like a rack. Trust it, little fuzzy. This isn't right. It can't be real. Sure felt real when we were fighting them. Shh. What do you mean, shh? Starglass right. Shh. Right about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes. Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to... Whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Yes. Further down? Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. <sighs> okay. Whoa. 
One last time! It's fine! I don't remember this part. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing. Um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no! No, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay. This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, Mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. Hey, Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what? only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help! We're a family! We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy! Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. <laughs> Talk about bad breath! We gotta do something to shut its trap! Oh, I can feel the tension building! Fog me has By done way, sloppy footwork! The statue, Sargon! The evil must be stopped from within! You get that, Peter? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Tell about the statue! Don't I make this a habit! Little Fuzzy! Now is the time for explosion! You want me to blow something up? Find me an entry point! Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches.
Fuck it! You see what I see? Yeah! Yeah! I can get in there! Okay! So let's blow this thing to hell! Don't know how much longer I can no. hold us off, Peter! Uh. Oh. Hey, Vaughn! There! How was that? Did it work? Feels like it should have worked. Then why are we still fighting them? Us! Them! I'm thinking all it takes is one more blast. No! The water, Quill! I, I can't! You know I can't! Fuck it! No! Finish the job, Star Guy, please! Or all of it will have been for nothing! 